Welcome to Chamberlain University's commencement ceremony. At this moment, will all please rise for the presentation of the colors. Chamberlain University's commencement ceremony. I am Aquia Oxendine, and it is my honor to welcome you today to this momentous occasion. The definition of the word momentous means of utmost importance or outstanding significance, and that is what we are celebrating here today. We are proud of the achievements, the countless hours of dedication, and the sacrifices that our graduates have made to get to this very moment. We are happy to honor you today. At this time, I would like to recognize a very special group of individuals. We would like to acknowledge everyone who has served or is currently active in the military branch. Thank you for your valuable service. We would also like to recognize all nurses. Thank you for what you do every day. I would like to recognize Chamberlain Leadership Team that has been part of your academic journey. Dr. Julie Seamers, former president of the Tysons Campus. Dr. Pamela Fuller, interim president of the Tysons Corner Campus. Aquia Oxendine, director of campus operations. Donna Parker, dean of academic affairs. Pamela Carr, Associate Dean of Student Learning. Ahmad Jamil, Associate Dean of General Education. Ashley Ray, Director of Admissions, and Vikmar Paz Morales, Student Services Manager. I would also like to recognize the faculty for all your hard work and dedication to our students. Thank you for all you do. It is our pleasure to recognize the various departments that have helped our students from the beginning and throughout the program to get them to this pivotal moment. Members from the Student Learning Department, Admissions, Student Services, IT, and Clinical Coordinations, thank you. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Julie Seamer. 
Welcome faculty, staff, distinguished guests, family, and friends. Graduating from nursing school is an enormous accomplishment that you should all be very proud of. The dream our graduates had and the decision they made long ago to become a nurse has come to fruition. It is a major milestone in life and brings them to the precipice of a new beginning. As we look back with pride on this accomplishment, they must also look forward. This is the time to determine how they will carve their path from a Chamberlain graduate to their new profession as a registered nurse. As they care for patients and their families, they have the opportunity to make the choice of how they will show up in their new role every single day. Today, with the help of technology, discovery of the quantum world has allowed us to observe the effects of this unseen energy. Modern day research has shown beyond any reasonable doubt that human emotion has a direct influence on the way our cells function in our body and the way we affect those around us. They have the opportunity to impart positive energy waves that impact the environment and every living thing in our surrounding area. A smile or a touch of the hand can be as powerful as a dose of morphine. Choose to go beyond the task of being a nurse and remember that a human being is the recipient of your care, compassionate care, Chamberlain care. Our graduates have prepared and learned what it takes to be a professional and are committed to continually improving the quality of patient care. We are delighted today to congratulate you, our graduates, on your accomplishment. This degree is the culmination of much hard work and sacrifice, and we are happy to have this opportunity to publicly recognize and celebrate your dedication and success. Wear this professional designation with honor and proudly. At this time, please welcome our keynote speaker, Dr. Ernest J. Grant. Dr. Grant is the 36th president of the American Nurses Association the nation's largest nurses organization representing the interests of the nation's 4.2 million registered nurses. A distinguished leader, Dr. Grant has more than 30 years of nursing experience and is an internationally recognized burn care and fire safety expert. Interim Campus President Dr. Pamela Fuller, faculty, family, invited guests, and especially students. It is my honor to be celebrating with you as you graduate into the best profession known to humankind. During these unprecedented times, we have been challenged to be more innovative, flexible, and persistent, and I commend you on your consideration of the health and safety of your graduates, educators, and communities through these virtual ceremonies. Graduates, today is both a beginning and an end in life's many passages. Your commencement formally signals the completion of your studies, while simultaneously marking a turning point, a time of transition in your own leadership journey. You are continuing this journey as members of a proud and trusted profession. In fact, for the 19th consecutive year in a row, the public has ranked nursing as the most trusted profession in Gallup's annual Honesty and Ethics poll. And in wake of COVID-19, nurses have proven once again their unwavering commitment to serving their community, their country, in times of crisis. While combating the coronavirus, nurses in all settings and roles are providing expert, compassionate care, leading by examples, shaping healthcare policy, and advocating for resources. With the arrival of life-saving COVID-19 vaccines, we're hopeful that we've turned the corner. And while the last year has tested us on so many levels, we have confronted this crisis with grit, resilience, and kindness, embracing a common spirit of being in this together. And for that, I have never been prouder to call myself a nurse. And I'm prouder still to welcome you to our esteemed profession. The road before you is an exciting one, filled with potential. This role will no doubt both exhilarate and challenge you. Either way, I promise you, it will not be boring. 
The values and skill that's part of your education will continue to influence you for years to come. What you do to live those values in the years ahead will define you as a person and as a professional. Today, I ask you to consider how you will bring the Chamberlain University College of Nursing mission to life. How will you be empowered to advance the health of people, families, communities, and nations? How will you have a significant and positive impact on public health? How can you seize every opportunity to learn, to grow, and better the lives of your patients, the conditions at your workplace, or the profession of nursing? I ask each of you to consider what will be your legacy. The path to greatness is likely to be hidden in the unexpected. Nursing trailblazers before you found their path by paying attention to small signals, areas of need where no one else was focusing. They never worried who was supposed to deal with the challenge. They never asked whose problem it was. They just simply looked for a solution. These revolutionaries, leaders in the fight for better, more accessible health care, started their journeys just as you are today. They're all proud graduates of nursing education. Not satisfied with the status quo, they each recognized opportunities to transform the profession, and in doing so, created and left behind something bigger and better for the rest of us. As graduates, you must find and develop your own opportunities to make a difference. This is particularly important at a time when nurses are the lifeline between hospitalized patients and their families who cannot visit. They provide comfort and continue to be there for the public who look to them to be the sources of accurate information and calm voices of reason. Nurses did not enter the profession to be heroes, but their dedication and work are heroic. It's important to note that we advocate not only for patients, but for those who provide care. As you grow into your career, I challenge you to think critically every day about what could be changed for the better. Examine every experience, those that seem nominally important and those that seem to be groundbreaking in the moment for occasions to question, speak up, organize, and advocate. You know, this year, the American Nurses Association is commemorating its 125th anniversary. Over the years, we have had the privilege of serving nurses through our work to advance and elevate the profession, improve work environment, and strive for the public good. As ANA celebrates this milestone year, we have also joined our global community in continuing the Year of the Nurse and have shifted our focus towards promoting your health and well-being, recognizing your role in meeting the needs of patient, and honoring you and your contributions in every way that we can. In honor of the Year of the Nurse, ANA has also expanded the traditional Nurses Week to an entire month of recognition in May. This month is a time for everyone to recognize the positive impact of America's registered nurses. This is why ANA selected the theme, Nurses Make a Difference, as the largest group of healthcare professions in the U.S., nurses' impact on health and health care is unparalleled. ANA has developed extensive programming, and we urge all nurses, hospitals, or stakeholders to participate in and promote Nurses Month to honor nurses and advocate for the, pre for the profession. I hope that you find your own ways to celebrate as new members of this vocation. Despite the difficult times that we're living in, I challenge you to make this extended Year of the Nurse yours. Share your experiences. Take on leadership roles. Focus on your physical and mental health. And take every opportunity to advance your educational and professional development. You are the future, and together we must lead the way to excellence. I can assure you, nursing is a great career choice. 
As you embark on your professional journey, I hope you make sure that ANA is a part of your future. Thank you again to the members of the faculty for the opportunity you've given me to participate in this important day. Most of all, my sincere congratulations to the class of 2021. I wish you the very best as you go forward with the knowledge and skills that you have gained here at Chamberlain. Take pride in this achievement. Make the most of this valuable education and work hard to spot those little moments that can grow into great opportunities. You might not see your legacy now, but it is waiting for you to discover and nurture. The world is counting on you. Thank you. At this time, please welcome Dean of Academic Affairs, Donna Parker. I would like to recognize our student organizations for Student Government Association, Student Veterans Association, and our Student Nurses Association, which is our Chamberlain Achievement and Leadership Mentoring Program. For our graduation, a pre-licensure graduate is nominated as an outstanding graduate. The individual nominated is one who embodies and demonstrates the following criteria. A cumulative GPA of 3.6 or higher, participation in extracurricular activities such as student organizations, community volunteer work, or international nursing trips. These activities are beyond employment or course expectations. The recipient demonstrates professional behavior, which includes physical responsibility and professional accountability throughout their academic career. I am pleased to announce the recipient of the Outstanding Graduate Student Award, Mario Ramirez. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mario Ramirez Cardoza. And before moving forward, I would like to thank God. Dear Lord, I thank you for the strength, wisdom, and peace you render me every day. I thank you for giving me this opportunity to be grateful for all your blessings. I trust that no matter how things may evolve as I move forward, you are going to be and always will be my shining light of hope. Now, I would like to ask the audience to please join me in a moment of silence in memory of the family members that we lost during this journey and those whose lives were taken away due to the COVID-19 virus. Thank you. Thank you for your time. I firmly believe that they are here present in spirit, smiling down upon us from heaven with a sense of never ending pride. I love you, late Aunt Fatima and late Cousin Juan. This is for you. The, mess, the first order of business is to acknowledge the following. I am beyond blessed and deeply humbled to be named the student speaker for today's graduation, but more importantly, to represent and be a part of this amazing cohort of 2021. Similarly, I'm very proud to be speaking to you on this special occasion. And without further ado, I would like to say this. We finally made it, class of 2021. We are here. We finally arrived to our signature destination, if you will, to make the desired dream come true, that with sacrifice and perseverance, we were able to accomplish it. God is good, that is for sure. Dear fellow graduates, most of us are familiar with online classes, right? So I invite you to think on these thoughts for a moment. None of us would have imagined that our graduation ceremony will be delivered via the frequency and bandwidth of today's internet services. Nonetheless, we are here. And not only only here, but we are standing tall like, a, like an oak tree and eager to receive the much anticipated and coveted BSN degree. It would be prudent to say that the opportunity to walk at graduation is a unique and priceless experience, right? But we can utilize the power of the internet to our advantage and make our graduation a special one. And so it is. So with that being said, I ask you to keep this into perspective that neither the pandemic nor social distancing can roadblock from what is happening here today. That is, we are here together celebrating our own a unique 2021 Virgil graduation. 
It is important that we reflect on the fact that we have completed an important chapter in our lives, in the beginning of another one that is soon to follow. So I encourage you to be proud of this accomplishment. Don't let this special moment in day pass, day pass by without thinking about all that has gone into completing your education and become professional nurses. I will venture to say that the silver lining to nursing school is that in spite of the pandemic, attending remote classes, clinicals, as well as to those days that did not go as planned, but God, we fought our way through to win in order to be here this afternoon. So I want you, I want you to do me a big favor. I want you to take your, take your time, embrace this moment, embrace it, and think back of the time when some of us or some of you were crying, feeling stressed out, um, working on that RUA paper, struggling to make ends meet, caring for a loved one in the hospital and still able to submit that assignment or working double shifts in order to provide for your families and bring your dreams come true. To that end, we should all be proud of ourselves, we should be proud of ourselves for not just making it to the end, but for making our own respected personal history. And that we have, indeed. I'm going to follow up with the acknowledgments. I firmly believe that is the right thing to do, to give credit where credit is due. For this reason, we should be grateful to our families, our professors, clinical instructors, sim lab instructors, and everyone who help us to meet this goal, and especially the people who actually brought this virtual environment so we can all celebrate at the same time. I would like to take this moment to thank my parents, for teaching me the art of hard work and the belief and values that hard work continues to be second to none when it comes to achieving your goals. I would also like to thank my son, Mario Jr., who is my rock, inspiration, and hero. I love you, boy. I know you're there. We made it. Thank you. So, like, like, like I always said, everything has to come to an end. So with that, with those, with that being said, I salute you, class of 2021, for all that you have achieved so far, and for what would you will continue to achieve in the future. There is no doubt about it, and I thank you for this opportunity to be able to speak to you, and for allowing me to praise God, because everything is provided by Him, and I'm a living testament of that. So I will, I will finish with this, and I will leave you with this. Greatness is not what you do in the world. It is what you allow God to do in you. So with that note, God bless you all. To God be the glory. Like I always say, God is good. Have a blessed afternoon and enjoy this moment. Congratulations, class of 2021. God bless. And now, the moment everyone has been waiting for. It is time for degree conferrals. We would like to recognize our Bachelors of Science in Nursing graduates. Magna Cum Laude. Philippe Abera. Cum Laude. Busudu Odnupebi. Cum Laude. Anna N. Agbor. Summa Cum Laude, Javita Amuji. Carla Melissa Arias Toledo. Magna Cum Laude, Genesis Ariola. Anna Elizabeth Baby Cum Laude Fatman Yari Bangor Poor
Courtney Borua. Cum laude, Ellen Botang. Vladimir Boniz. Tara Bradley. Julie Brozina. Cum laude, Lauren Elizabeth Bullard. Amber Kibble. Walter Campos. Lashy Clark. Magna Cum Laude, Valeria de Armas. Emma Bett, Demacy. Theo Edwards. Khadija Farrakhan. Kwame Frimpong. Magna Cum Laude. Cinderella Garcia. Margaret Garraway. Alessandra Gabilano. Magna Cum Laude. Elizabeth Ruth Gillum. Tatiana Granados. Summa Cum Laude, Meredith Grant. Tiffany Izzard. Magna Cum Laude, Vanessa Kofalet Gapet. Mariano Coroma Catherine Himano Maldonado Rodriguez Magna Cum Laude Theofania Mavrantonis Cunard Carl Gufer Natalie Newman Cum Laude Mackenzie Newsbaum Cum laude, Fun Me Lola, O Guncoya. In Ketchy, O Ko.
Doreen Olu. Cynthia Otero. Karen Otiero. Alejandra Penaloza. Magna Cum Laude, Olamide Cheris, Popu, Summa Cum Laude, Mario Ramirez Cardozo, Cum Laude, Santiago Sebhatu. Megan Shattuck. Pavina Su Chotinan. Magna Cum Laude. Bethel Tadesai. Cum Laude, Clara Tezo. Magna Cum Laude, Kimberly Trochi. Alexis Wallace. Alicia Watts. Cum Laude. Hunter Willis. Corey Dominic Wilson. Mahalit Yale Cum Laude Samantha Zalaya Hello graduates, I'm Dr. Pam Fuller and I'm the campus president for Tyson Corner. It is my honor to be able to confer your degrees. Will the candidates for the Bachelors of Science in Nursing please rise? I hereby certify that these students have completed the requirements of the Bachelors of Science in Nursing degree. By the power vested in me by the Virginia Board of Nursing Chamberlain College of Nursing, and Chamberlain University Provost, I hereby confer upon these students the degree of Bachelors of Science in Nursing. With all the honors and responsibilities pertaining thereunto. Congratulations. <laughs> Now's the time for turning your tassel. Congratulations again to our graduates. You have done it. Graduates, please stand and turn and face your friends and your family near you and take a moment to wave to them, to hug them, as we clap to congratulate you. <laughs> graduates, now the moment has come that you've been waiting for. Please turn your tassel from, on your motorboard from the right to the left to signify that you are now a graduate of Chamberlain University. Everyone, please join me in congratulating our graduates. We are so very proud of you. 
is my pleasure. Please welcome Ty Rhonda Kane for the candle Ty lighting Ronda ceremony. Kane, who will be working who will be doing the candle lighting ceremony. In the practice of nursing, the lamp is a symbol of the knowledge, care, and devotion as the nurse administers to the sick and injured. The lamp also represents Florence Nightingale's rounds at night and is symbolic of her dedication. The candlelight ritual symbolizes the regeneration of nursing and the nursing profession as Florence Nightingale portrayed it to be. As the candle is lit, it symbolizes not only spreading the light, but also as passing on the knowledge and traditions of caring and devotion to the next generation of nurses. Graduates and all registered nurses in the audience, please stand and join me in the reciting of the Nurses' Pledge. I pledge in the presence of this assembly to practice my profession faithful. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge and the practice of my profession. I will devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on this special occasion as we celebrate the achievements of our graduates. Congratulations for your success in completing all of your requirements for your Bachelor of Science in Nursing program, culminating with your graduation today. Venture forward into your new profession with care, compassion, and confidence that you have what it takes to become the extraordinary nurse that you have already begun. We are so proud of you. One last parting thought as I would like to share with you today if the whole world followed you, would you be pleased with where you took it? I dare you to make a difference. This concludes our ceremony. Thank you.